It was a pitcher's night last night. Six singles combined. Will it be a pitcher's day today? We'll find out. Lucas Giolito against Jordan Lyles. It's a rematch of what we saw in Kansas City on May 9th. Lucas Giolito goes to the mound. He's 10 and 5 lifetime against these Royals. On for his 10th start. Looking for his third win. The ERA very respectable at 386. Pretty good numbers. Very few walks. A lot of strikeouts. And hopefully Junior keeps his helmet on for the first pitch of the game. Oh. In fact, it's a shot back into center field. <laughs> And he's on with a game opening. That's single. exactly how you answer first pitch. Oh my nose. Look at that shot. Almost got Giolito. He thought he was hit. And here is Pasquantino. Lucas holding that ball a little extra long. Runner goes. Call strike three. How about a double play? Hey, they've still faced the minimum in this series. Tremendous effort by Sebi. He gets it right down the middle. It's a fastball center cut. And then. Bobby Wood Jr. does not get a great break on this. It looks like it looks like they better throw the first pitch to me. Yeah, it was close for sure. They will not challenge it. Salvi not only has big numbers in the past against Giolito, but he's hit 15 home runs in his ballpark. Ooh. Belted to left field. Benintendi is back, and Salvi hits his fifth career home run against Giolito. Well, I, I didn't think he would want to throw him anything in the middle. Three and two got a guy like that like Salvi man anything anything right in the middle of the plate. Oh my uh oh hey now that's a little bit of smack talking between the Salvi and some of the White Sox players which is okay. Slider out oh 10th home run he loads those hips with the best of them. Now he's hit some further and he's hit him a lot harder but it don't matter. Jordan Lyles went all nine the last time he saw Chicago that was on May the 9th and he was opposed by Lucas Giolito. Ben Intendi in a very good stretch here getting on base a lot. And he's on again. Seven game hit streak now for Ben Intendi. Luis Robert Jr. having a terrific month of May. And hook to left this could drop and it will. Good read by Ben Intendi. He'll end up at third. And it's a double for Robert. Location. More than exit velocity on that hit. The only question is would it stay fair long enough? It did just that. Putting runners in scoring position. Only one out here in the first. Matt Quattrero will bring his infield in against Yoan Moncada. Should have a base hit. Ben Attendee will score. Robert right behind him. Great read, great send. It's two to one. Boy, that would have been easy for Eddie Rodriguez to hold Robert. And we'll never know if Prado made an assumption about whether or not he would try to score. But well, here's the thing you've got a first baseman in left field. And so you're gambling with probably the fastest guy you have on your ball club against a first baseman in left field. And the Sox and Eddie Rodriguez won that one. Nick Prado was 0 for 3 last night. All three at bats were against Michael Kopech. Off the end of the bat and under Moncada's glove. So Nick Prado on an 0 2 pitch ends up with a one out double. His sixth on the year. Whoa, that was nice. Runner in scoring position for Freddie Fermin. Moncada had to back up a bit to play a better hop. And on the play, Prado out of third. What a throw by Andrew Vaughn. They want to check it and see. Prado thought he had gotten in there. It's still a terrific play by Vaughn. It's heads up. Yuan getting back to the bag is good. We'll watch it again. Looks like he got him on the leg. And we're going to play on. Third inning. Michael Massey, the only Royals hit last night. Up toward the end of the bat, and Hazley will dive and made the catch. And this is just an exquisite play by Adam Hazley. Watch it again. He's got a long way to come. He's timing it. The head is not moving. That's one of the keys. You got to keep your head right down on the play. He makes the dive, takes it away, and that is highway robbery. Great defense early in this one. It sucks with a 2 1 lead on the Royals. Lucas Giolito pitching well. And now he goes the other way to add to those numbers. Ooh, that's pretty. He'll tell you. He liked the homer, but that swing right there is going to keep him locked in. Here's MJ, the Royals' right fielder. And now Melendez, like Salvi, goes the other way. And the Royals have two on with one out. There you go. For Garcia bats, he lined out his first time up, and it's a full count. What are you thinking here? 
like to see him throw a slider and get a young hitter maybe over anxious. We'll see. And a fastball right on the outside corner. Perfectly placed. Two down. Only the second strikeout of the day, but it comes at a great time. Sebi does a nice job of holding it there for Phil Cuzzy. And here is Prado. No time for the base runners. And he went back to the changeup. Prado walks, and they're loaded for Fermin. That scenario very frustrating for Lucas because you're either going to get the call, most likely you're going to get the swing if it's a little closer than it was. And instead, bases are loaded. Fans are into it. He got him on a high changeup. So Lucas smiling, maybe didn't want to throw it exactly there, but it worked. Still 2 1. And now Jordan Lyles has retired nine straight. That'll bring and up Andrew Vaughn. He flied out to left field in the first inning. Curveball strikes him out. So that's 10 straight knocked down by Lyles. And he has struck out three. Yeah, he's definitely on a nice little roll. He's locating where he wants it. He's keeping the ball down against power hitters. Look where that ball's finishing. It's finishing at the knees and below. And that's exactly where he lives. You no, know, he, he's he's been very reliable. Berger hits it off the end of the bat. And that'll be down. So it snaps Lyle's string. So he's on with two down, and the batter will be former Royal Hanser Alberto. Running again. And that is a strikeout on a pitch up and out of the strike zone. So Jordan Lyles has set down 11 of the last 12 and the Royals trail by one. And that'll bring up Salvi who's already homered once today and he's now homered five times against this guy. Why not half a dozen? Line to left field. He is three for three. Will he dig for second? He will. Here's the throw from Benintendi and it's offline. And now Salvi is a triple shy of the cycle hood. How about that? Can you hit a triple in this ballpark? Oh, Salvi, he'll have to hit it down the right field line. Robert, a double and a run and a fly out to right. And on the ground, but we've got catcher's interference. It looked weird, and there's a reason. He hit the glove of Fermin, who will be charged with an error. Well, if anybody is going to do that, it's going to be Luis Robert. So, instead of potentially two outs and nobody on, it's two on and nobody out, and Moncada has already driven in two runs. Bases loaded, nobody out. Without a hit, that'll be it for the starter, Lyles. Well, you mentioned it. Third time through this part of the order, and the Sox will try to do some damage. And Quas will come into a very big jam facing Vaughn Berger, and we'll see who else. Got him to chase, and that was way outside. One away. That is a big first out. Same setup on the infield against Berger. The strikeout to Vaughn, and now the one two. And Berger lines out in the right center. Should score at least two. Ben Intendi and Robert are in. Here comes Moncada. That is a bases clearing double. Single biggest at bat of the ball game. 23 now driven in by Jake Berger as he went with this and didn't try to pull it. Great piece of hitting by Jake Berger. And lately he's hitting left handers and right handers alike. Just a great at bat by Jake. Ronaldo Lopez on for the 22nd time. He's got some traffic on the bases. Runners at first and second. There's an out in the inning as he tries to get out of this and preserve the lead at four. And out in the shallow center and it drops the throw to second. In time. What a pick by Alberto. So that'll become a fielder's choice. Two down in the inning. They'll be at the corners. Big break for the Sox. Now Bobby Witt Jr. This time he gets him on a full cut. Lopez gets out of it. And nothing charged to Crochet. 5 1. A new pitcher in the ballgame, it is Kendall Graveman, who has been very good of late. This is a non safe situation, but he is three for three and save opportunities. This should do it. Alberto waving off Hazley and the White Sox. Clinch the series, and the next step for this club, right, is the sweep, and they'll try to accomplish that tomorrow.